up in game number one. The intensity should ramp up here in game number two. Welcome back to EA Sports, everybody. I'm James Sabalski. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They're about to drop the puck. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. No sit on your toes there, James, but that's a react to that massive hit. The Islanders have it from their own end. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Matthews. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. And it's a quick pass to Marner. Takes it across the blue line. Moves it to Barcel. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Skates to the crease. Here's a shot. Makes the save. Riley stick handling in his own zone. Here's a chance. Gets a pat on it. What a stop by Sorokin. It always amazes me that goaltenders often make this save look easy with all of that traffic in front and screen. I mean, it is important to battle and find the sight lines. And this goaltender whoop, does a great job of making it happen. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. The Leafs gain possession in their own end. And lowers the boom with a big time hit. Wow, well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from puck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. Here's a short pass to McCabe. Shot! What a save by Sorokin! Across the line, down the left wall. Well saved made by Sam Sodov. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We're still scoreless. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. They go on the attack through center. New York's looking to break out of their own end. Wax into the offensive zone. Quick feed to Brody. Scrum along the wall. Scooped up along the wall by Yarncro. Takes it to the net. Out of the way by Sorokin. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. The reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Here's an odd man rush. Moves the puck to Yarncroft. Into the attacking end. Big save by the goaltender. And he slides it quickly to Giordano. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Sisikis looks around. And that goes wide. Hockey is a game of inches. And you know these athletes take so many shots on net and practice. And in this one, this over rotate under rotate but nonetheless misses the net throws it in slides it diagonally to Reeves he carries the puck up along the wing dumps the puck in Dobson's got it in the defensive end moves it quickly over to Wallstrom quick shot and there's the save quick pass to Riley into the offensive zone down the right wing Centering field connect the play. Too much traffic in the lane. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Picked up by Dobson. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Shot. Stones him in front. The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. More than half the frame has been played here. Still scoreless in this one. The Leafs win the draw. Moves it to Nylander. Gets the puck in deep. The Islanders gain control of the puck. New York's looking to break out. Takes the feed. Puts it on net. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. 
Teams are lined up and we are ready to take this draw. Matthews wins possession in the defensive zone. And that's poked away by Barzell. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. Across the line from center. Nelson's moving it ahead. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And he makes the save. The Leafs gain possession. And another stop. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. won the draw. Floats him up into the boards. And now he moves it quickly to Engvall. On the attack along the boards. Big hit that frees up possession. Beats the puck over to Tavares. Takes the shot. With the stop. going to the frame. The game is still scoreless. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Corrado's got control of it now from their own end. The Leafs played along the boards. Scores! And Tyler Bertuzzi doing the Watuzzi as he tucks it in and lights the lane. Toronto's gone up by one here in the late stages of period number one. Perfect timing as we near the intermission. Oh uh, yeah, and sometimes when the offense isn't coming, you gotta stay the course and just continue to grind. And that's exactly what they did, and now they wind up with the game's first goal. Fires it on net. Gives them nothing in front. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Toronto's look great thus far, leading here late in the first period. Horvath's won the faceoff. Slides it on over to Wallstrom. Can't hang on after that hit. Moves it to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. We'll get a faceoff after the puck stays covered up. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. The Islanders win the draw on their own end. Now a quick pass to Wallstrom. The Islanders played along the wing. Here's a short pass. Scores! They tied it up! And we are back to even! Well, working hard, sticking to the game plan with good habits, and they're back to even. James, this is one of these goals where it's least expected. Why? Because he's falling to the ice, and I'd love the last-ditch effort to keep the play alive. And in doing so, he winds up passing it right to the open player stick, and it winds up in the back of the net. An apple for his effort. Getting into the later stages of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Puck scooped up by Aho. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. <laughs> Toronto's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. And we're going to get a face off after the offside. Quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Quick feed to Lee. Slick feed. Shot! And he shuts the door on that. Gains the zone through center. To the front! And that caroms off a body in the lane. Moves it quickly over to Lee. 
The Islanders are across the line and into the offensive end. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Oh, did he punish him for going into the corner on that play? Here's a shot. Oh, at the buzzer of Eddie Hansen, just as time runs out. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. Looking for that go-ahead goal here as the play is underway in the second. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Islanders are lucky that this game is tied, James. I mean, they've had the minority of the shots and really haven't found a way to get to the interior of the ice. They're going to have to pay the price somewhere if they want to get some shots and make this game a game. Quick pass to Dobson. Lots of time left in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Matthews quick on the draw. Here they come on the attack. Moves it to Palmieri. Gaining momentum up along the side. Tries to feed it over to Nelson. Looks to set up at the point now. Turns him away. New York's got the puck. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Matthews. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. The Islanders have it behind the net. Lee's lugging the puck. The Islanders take it across the line. Great defensive effort with the stick. Here's a short pass to Bertuzzi. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick feed to Wallstrom. Thunderous hit in the wall. Through center along the wing. And that's poked away by Klingberg. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a shot. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Romanov's got a hold of the puck behind his own cage. Loses his balance on the play. Oh, he hit him and caught all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. Made the stop on that play. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James. But, man, he flashed the leather. He made the save. No rebound to boot. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. It's all tied up. The Islanders will go to work here in the offensive zone. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. The Islanders take possession off the faceoff. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. Pajot's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Oh, look at the glove save by Samsonov! Zone. Toronto's got possession of the puck. Good hit on the play. Get a little physical there with that collision. Here's a chance on the attack. Great glove save by Sorokin. The Islanders 
Warriors win it in the defensive zone. Musa quickly over to Engvall. The Islanders carry it along the wall. And now it's grabbed by Reeves. Sends a pass over. And serves up a little knock on the play. Riley's got it in the offensive zone. Scores! There it is! The go-ahead goal! And how good does that feel? You can see the selling. The energy is certainly there. And now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift is critically important. This is actually a tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. The Leafs, through their hard work and tenacity, have taken a one-goal lead here in the second. It's certainly better to play with the lead, James, but you know that there's a lot of one-way left, and your opponent is going to come pushing and pressing. This game has been tight all the way around, and I expect that it will continue to be. Quick pass to Marner. The score! And that's back-to-back goals! Well, nothing like switching the mention and putting your opponent on their heels and getting two in a row. players working from this area all the time in practice. A quick snapshot only can't get set to position in time and it winds up in the back of the net. The Leafs have added to their lead and they're now up by two, Cheryl. They've had a fantastic game so far, James, and you want to be consistent. You want to find a way to close it out. The only way you do that is continue. Don't change the mindset. Continue to press and don't get complacent. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Slides the puck down low. Denies him in close. He's like a magician out there. The puck is on a string. He can maneuver. He scores! Oh, wow! There might have been some filco on that stick. Uh, I would say so. It's a puck on the string and it invades the defenders. And then he's able to get a shot through the goaltender and finish it off. Just love watching him play. I mean, if you're playing alongside him, all you have to do is get open, keep your stick on the ice. And often it's just your stick. Your body can be taken. But he'll find the open ice if there's any. He did there. And it's in the back of the net yet again. Toronto's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders. And they lead here in the second. Smart play to take possession. Sneaking in off the wing. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that pass attempt is deflected. Toronto's message was clear coming into this one. Lots of shots on net, and they lead here in this second. The Leafs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it to Bertuzzi. Takes the pass. Oh, making his presence felt with the hit. Here's a short pass to Bertuzzi. And he slides it quickly to Lilgrim. Poked away in the neutral zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. The Leafs take possession in the defensive end. Nelson's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Here we go, on man rush. Denies him on the play. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Picked up along the wall by Horvath. Takes the feed. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. What save. Samsonov's been strong in the net tonight, and his save percentage is really high, James, and it's because he's faced a high volume of shots and he's been dialed in and able to make the saves. That gives his team confidence, and they've been consistent as well, and they've done the job on the other side of the puck. Oh, he caught him! Oh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone-crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. Scores! Break out the clutch here on the steal because that's four on it. Well, it's incredible. You can tell that they are moving and shaking. They're getting the puck going north. They're transitioning so fast. And man, do they have their opponent on their heels. Man, that looked like a goal scorer's goal. Just a knack for the net, but it all comes off of a beautiful distribution. I mean, just eyes in the back of the head to be able to give that gift right to the stick. 
The Leafs are probably thinking, we don't want this period to end the way things are going. Show you've been in these types of games before. No, James, if I'm playing in this game, I do not want the intermission because everyone is firing on all cylinders. They're in a rhythm. When you have that kind of energy going for you, you don't want to sit and wait for the third. Their opponent certainly wants that time, but I don't think they do. And that pass is redirected. They score! And a huge goal to try to shift the tide. Well, they're going to have to do more than that if they want to shift this tide. I don't think the coach is going to be very impressed with their preparation coming into this game, James. But they found a little bit of light here. Let's see if they can get something back to back and create some momentum. New York's been on their heels all night long, but they finally pushed back here in period number two. Certainly something positive to get on the board, but they're going to have to build on top of it if they want to really create some momentum and believe that they're back in this game. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. Quick feed to Holmstrom. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Holmstrom. And that's blocked away. Pushes it across to Nylander. Quick pass to Holmstrom. Here he is, wrestling on that, scores! And look at this, suddenly they're right back into it! I really like their response here, James. They're able to capitalize on the opportunity and it gets them within two in this two goal deficit. It almost feels like there's a little hope now in the game and if they can get one more, you'll recognize that the momentum will completely shift. The Islanders have found a spark here late in the second. Let's see if they can build on it now. They're going to need more than a spark to get back in this one, but it'll certainly start it off as a two-goal deficit is better than a three. Oh, big-time hit along the wall, and this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. Almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, it's a bone crusher. Maintains control of the puck. The Islanders have it now. Quick pass over to Mayfield. Receives the pass. Oh, he rocked him on the play. Oh, you know that he felt that one, James. The body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. Here in the late goings of the period, New York still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Leafs break out of their own end with one last chance. Puck grabbed by Tavares. The Islanders look to start the transition game. Passes it over to Wallstrom. Rips it from the blue line. And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Be sure to attend our Auto and Light Truck Show next weekend. Here's the beat in next year's models. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. There's been no shortage of firepower after the first 40 minutes, and we are underway here in the third. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? New York's been holding on to the puck a ton. They've been doing a real good job of protecting and shielding the puck, but it just hasn't translated into generation of offense. they got to continue to work on that through the third period. They are trailing, but it's right on them. You can feel it's on their stick, James. It's just a matter of getting another one. Lots of time left in this period. The Leafs lead by a pair. It's 5-3. And he serves it across to Nylander. Slides the puck over. Great use of the stick at center by Dobson. Taken along the wall by Matthews. Turns that one away. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. The setters will glide into the dot. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Up along the wing. The Leafs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Taken by Pellick. Puck picked up by Dobson. New York's on the attack. Here's a chance. Oh, what a stick save. 
goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Good use of the body on the play. The Islanders move the puck in the defensive zone. And here's a pass to Horvath. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. That knocks him off the puck. The Leafs will play it from the defensive zone. Oh, another hit! This guy's all about ruthless aggression tonight. Well, he certainly is. His feet are always moving, and they've been clean body on body, but certainly sending a message and setting the tempo. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Toronto's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And he denied him there. Toronto's grabbed a hold of the puck. Quick shot! Blocked in traffic. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Toronto's got all sorts of content for the highlight shows tonight. They lead at 5-3. Puck scooped up by Pulak. And it's a quick pass to Holmstrom. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. And now it's grabbed by Klingberg. Shot! Denied by the goaltender. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. Along the half wall with the puck. Knocked away. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Brody's taking it from his own end. are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Sisik has won the draw and they'll start off on the attack. He scores! Off the pipe and pull to the twine! Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. This is a primetime example of why you work on face-offs so often in practice, because when you start with possession, you get scoring chances. And when you get scoring chances, this is exactly what happens. You put it in. The Islanders desperately needed something, and they finally made it happen. Well, they're in the final frame here, but they got one back. And you know what that's like as an opponent, when you know that that team is coming and they're a wave. There's a lot of urgency, and they're a dangerous team right now. Cut grab by Brody. Angles it over to Giordano. Oh, he hammered him on the play. Oh, this is just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical and scores! And Leafs Nation is rocking! Well, this is a really smart shot from traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position. Really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. The Leafs win the faceoff at center. Fires it! Tough save! And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Play. 
New York's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Unloads one. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Toronto's moving the puck through center ice. And that's knocked away. There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for us and the fans in the building. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I wouldn't have been up in the top, but clearly the game's changing. Oh, oh, stops the game! Ah, beauty save path there. He's really owning his crease. And they win that draw center. 
Now a quick pass to Matthews. A chance to ice it into the empty net. Scores into the empty net, and that should probably wrap this one up. Yeah, we all get sealed the deal, James. The insurance marker, a lot of fun as well. Goal score is fun. Doesn't matter how it goes in, even if it is an empty net. That's a strong effort all the way around. Stingy defensively at the end of the game, and they're able to get that empty netter. And it's the nine minutes here, James. It should seal the deal. Toronto's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone face-off. Final seconds of this one, and the home fans certainly appreciate that they got their money's worth tonight. Handles the pass. Big save right at the end. Here's the whistle as the puck goes into the back of the net, but I think they're going to call it. to salute the fans. Well, this is a great feeling. I remember doing this when I was an athlete. You come back on the ice to salute the fans for cheering you on throughout the game. Just a fun night all the way around. Ain't no party like a victory party. Well, the game might be done, but these playoffs are far from over. We've got more playoff intensity just around the corner. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. Good night, and we'll see you next time.